I'm Claire Moulton, the publisher at The Company of Biologists, and today I'm joined by Judith Russell, Dean of Libraries at the University of Florida, to talk about open access agreements between publishers and libraries. Judy, how did you find negotiating an agreement with The Company of Biologists? How easy was it? And are there any tips that you would like to share? When I learned about the Read and Publish Agreement in September of 2020, I also learned that we subscribe to all of your journals and that our authors frequently published in your journals, but they weren't publishing open access articles. So this seemed like a great opportunity for us to give them the opportunity and choice of doing open access. Your program was affordable. It was a cost neutral model. You gave us unlimited access to your full content, including your archives, which is extensive. You didn't have a cap on the number of articles our authors could publish during the time of the agreement. So we weren't going to get partway through the year and then find that we were turning people down. Um, it was really easy to sign up. As I say, we had an existing license. We had a simple addenda. We were able to uh, sign up very quickly. So by learning about it in September, we had it operational by January, uh, which was wonderful. It was so easy for our authors. Uh, because it prompted them with the fact they didn't have to know about it or ask about it to receive the benefit. And we've already now had four open access articles published just since we started the agreement. Excellent. And we've had excellent feedback from authors uh, taking advantage of read and publish agreements. Um, they like to publish open access and we can see that there is a benefit for authors. For example, our open access articles receive at least twice as much usage as our non open access articles. How important was it to you to support smaller independent publishers embarking on transformative agreements? I think that's very important. I think many of us see what happens when the small publishers get sucked into the either the bigger journal publishers or even into some of the aggregators. And we really value helping you keep your independence while at the same time working with you to help you transform to open access. Judy, thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you.